Hi! Today we're going to review some very basic features in the Payables Management Module. We're going to create a pay run. And there are a couple different ways to do this and we're going to create one separate batch for each option. The first option under Setup on the Purchasing View is to select Checks. Now this option will enable us to go out and find all of the invoices that meet certain criteria. So let's do this now. We'll call this batch Select Checks and we'll add the batch. Notice the posting date and the check date come up automatically for us. We can edit those if we choose. We'll select our bank account and we'll choose whether or not it's a check run or an EFT run. So I'll click Save and now I get certain pieces of thing, information that I can enter uh, for criteria in for. So I'm going to just enter it in. I just want to do a pay run for Ace Travel and I'll click on Insert. I have some other options available to me as well. Do I want one check per vendor, one check per invoice? Do I want to take non-qualifying discounts, automatically apply returns and credit memos and so forth? So I'm going to go ahead and click on Build Batch and we'll know the batch is done when we have a dollar amount present, which we do. Now that's our first batch, so let's print this to the screen and take a look at it. And this is everyone who will receive a check and all the invoices it will pay. Whoops and here they are. We'll have one check for 56.05.03 uh, and here are all the invoices that will show up as paid. So that's one way to process a check run and then at that point we can just simply click on print checks and go. Another option is to do an edit check batch and again you can create a checkbook ID or a batch ID and we'll add this batch same posting date, check date scenario, same checkbook scenario, and also option check or EFT payment. We'll close that out. Now on this screen, down the left side we'll see everybody we owe money to, and on the right side we'll see individual invoices for those vendors. We'll also see our checkbook balance before we write checks, and what it would be after we print these checks. Now for Ace Travel, the first one that's showing up, You'll notice there's only two options there and I happen to know both of those are on hold. So let's move down to Beaumont Construction. So I'll click here and I can see three separate invoices. If I want to pay these individually, I'll just simply click in the box and you'll notice that the dollar amount for Beaumont Construction continues to flow. If I want to pay all of the invoices for a vendor, like this one, uh, for business equipment, I'll just click on that plus sign and now it'll select all the payments that it can. Okay, that's another option that we have. And the third option is to edit checks. And I'll create another batch here. Oops. And the batch window is exactly the same. EFT or checks, posting date, check date, so forth. And this time, I'm going to pull up and select individual vendors. So I'll grab an advanced office system and I could do a prepayment if I want to of $100, let's say, or I can click on Apply and select individual invoices. If I want to do a partial payment, let's say on this, this invoice for 55.60.34, if I want to partially pay $2,500 on it, I could do that as well. And so now I have payment on two invoices plus a prepayment. So those are the different options of selecting my checks. Now let's do a check run. Now I could select uh, print checks from any of those three windows or from the menu option I can choose print checks and I can see all of my batches available out there. Let's just choose the one that says edit checks and we have an option to print an alignment form or checks um, and whether or not we want a separate remittance. And I'm also going to change this to a graphical format which can be predefined. We'll print these checks to the screen so we can take a look at it and here are the checks. In this case it's only one check and you can see the prepayment of $100 and you can see my partial payment of $2,500 plus the full payment of that invoice. At which time we're ready to process our checks or we could choose the process or post the checks later. If you have a lot of checks you're printing, it's always best to let all the checks completely print before you're ready to move on to the next stage. That way if there's a printer jam, you have the capability of reprinting the checks if necessary or voiding some of them if you want to. But in this case, I want to post checks, so on the process line, I'll leave it post checks and then click process. 
and if I chose remittance, it'll prompt me for uh, producing a remittance form. Now in GP 2010 you can set up remittances for EFT payments and have them email automatically. I'm going to just choose to skip printing the remittance for and post and it just reminds me that I wanted to print a remittance and I didn't and now it's ready to print my check journal and so forth the rest of my posting journals. And that's it on processing a pay run in uh, Great Plains GP 2010. Hope this helps. Thanks.